In 2022, the world registered 36 billion tons of global carbon dioxide emissions, the highest level ever in history. And that number is simply unacceptable. Without doubt, climate change is the defining challenge of our time. And if we are to have any meaningful impact, we need to raise our ambition and decarbonize the world's most polluting sectors. Dar shares the mission to advocate for the world as we would for our home. And that means using expertise and innovation to tackle the world's most critical challenges, including climate change. And within that mission, we've set our sights on creating sustainable solutions for one of the world's greatest climate culprits, our built environment. Up to 75% of global carbon emissions can be directly linked to the built environment. The world is undergoing the largest wave of urban growth in human history, with 5 billion people projected to live in cities and towns by 2030. To accommodate such growth, the global built environment must expand by 2.4 trillion square feet of new buildings between now and 2060. Over $2 trillion worth of construction and infrastructure projects are planned and under execution in the Middle East alone. DAR has been on a mission to reimagine the built environment. The material we use, the way we plan and design, the way we build, the way we operate, maintain, and repurpose the existing assets we have. And we have found that there are solutions for every stage of that life cycle. And if these solutions are implemented, we can create a more sustainable built environment. Perhaps rather uniquely at Dar, we are entrusted with some of the largest urban development projects in the world, from entire new cities to um, urban extensions. This provides us with a platform to integrate sustainability best practice at a macro and to a micro level, and from ideation all the way to implementation. A great example of such an opportunity is Egypt's new administrative capital, which was conceived to address really rapid population growth and an unsustainable urban migration pattern. DAR has been involved in all scales of this ambitious project and we have seek to integrate sustainability and smart city best practice and principles throughout the whole project. The great truth about sustainability is that it does not have to limit our ambitions for the built environment. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's pavilion for Expo 2020 Dubai is an architecturally stunning showpiece Qatar's Qatara Towers is a global benchmark for luxurious hospitality. And for both of these projects, DAR sustainability experts were able to prepare detailed design solutions that won exceptional sustainability standards and certifications. These projects are proof that you can build incredibly ambitious projects while still being sustainable. Incorporating sustainability practices into the design and construction phase is of utmost importance but it's also essential to recognize that around 80% of the building's emissions occur during the operation and maintenance phase. And so really the sustainability challenge doesn't end once a building is constructed, it just begins again. One of the biggest sustainability challenges in buildings revolves around data management. And so we've developed PARA, which is a building portfolio diagnostics platform that utilizes advanced analytics and machine learning to really synthesize that data into insights that operators can then use to create a complete picture of what your emissions look like. We identified facility management interventions that collectively would boost operation performance by 25% and help us meet our sustainability targets. PARA is now a key element of DART strategy to reach net zero operations by 2030 and our team is working with clients and partners across the world using PARA to optimize operation and maintenance processes as we seek to reimagine the built environment in a world of net zero. The great challenge with sustainability and the fight against climate change is that the issues differ from one country to another and there is no one-size-fits-all solution. That's why DAR believes that even the best planners, engineers, designers, and experts need the insight and perspective of people who are embedded within the communities we are serving. 
As DARS frontline staff, we are using our deep-rooted presence in the local communities as well as our familiarity with governmental and non-governmental stakeholders in each country to make sure that our design team do understand the challenges and the opportunities in each local context and to ensure that solutions we are providing are actually best suited for the people they are supporting. We live in one of the most transformational times in, in human history. As architects and planners, it's critical to shape change and are not being shaped by it. We must constantly push boundaries and constantly innovate, which is core to our practice at DAR. DAR was one of the MENA region's earliest advocates for sustainability in the built environment. We have supported clients in delivering some of the region's first LEED certified projects. We have designed and constructed our own LEED Gold headquarters in Egypt's smart village. More recently, we partnered with the World Rebuilding Council and signed the Net Zero Carbon Buildings Commitment. We're committing to leading by example, making sure that our own buildings and assets are operating sustainably and reaching net zero by 2030. That's why the headquarters of our global collaborative of companies was designed to match the exceptional standards of sustainability. 150 Holborn earned LEED Platinum certification, as well as Briam Design Stage Rating of Outstanding, which is currently achieved by fewer than 1% of new buildings. The building now showcases how our sustainability and zero emission solutions and design expertise reduce our carbon footprint while still maximizing the value. Communication, storytelling, and community building are all essential in driving progress towards a net zero built environment. We have to inspire clients and stakeholders with a clear vision for more sustainable buildings and infrastructure. We have to articulate the challenges that come with decarbonizing the built environment. And we have to communicate those solutions to governmental authorities, to clients, to industry leaders, and to the general public, who all have a role to play in delivering the outcomes we all need.